how to play the lead guitar for Band on the Run. This is the, the normal lead guitar. There is another lead guitar which is all bottleneck or slide which I'll deal with in a separate video. But this is the, the straightforward lead guitar. So it starts with this very distinctive double stopping. Uh, now you can of course bar across that one finger but I've, I've found it's better to use uh, two separate fingers. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to use our first finger on the 10th fret of the B and our second finger on the 10th fret of the E and we're going to slide up uh, we're going to play those two strings together like that and we're going to slide up two frets like that so we end up on the 12th fret of both strings and then we're going to bring both fingers back to where we started play the two strings again and slide down as we do so to the 5th fret do the same thing from the 5th fret to the 7th fret and then slide that down to the 2nd fret and play it. Now you can do a normal finger vibrato, but if you're lucky enough to own a tremolo arm like I am, you can give it a bit extra with that. So your first bit is like that. Then you come all the way up to the 15th fret, 15 E, 15 B, same finger, so it's always finger 2 on the E, finger 1 on the B. You play the two strings, slow down one fret to the 14th fret, so both fingers moving down down to the 10th, up to the 12th, and a bit of vibrato again, so that second, second line. Then you can do the first little pattern again, but leading off with a single 10B. And then the upper pattern again. Like that. Okay, now the last part. Um, Stuck inside these four walls, and that's how the song comes in. Uh, you're up on the 15th fret, so 15E, uh, 15B, play that, that pair of notes, and then come to the 14th fret, play the same pair of notes, the uh, same pair of strings, I should say, slow down to 12, then play the 12th fret again, and slow down to 10. So you've got, so you play it there, there, and there. And then play that pair of notes again, the 10E and the 10B, and then come up to 12V and 11B. Now for the first time, we're not on the same fret for both strings. It's 12V, finger 2, 11B, finger 1. Play the two strings, slow up slowly, and then bring the first finger up so it is behind the same fret as finger 2. So you start on 11, 12, end on 15, 15. See? And that little hammer on and pull off is on the words that stuck inside these, coming on these. You'll hear the electric piano play the same riff, just uh, a little bit ahead of that. first pattern so it's very distinctive and it's uh, quite a nice thing to play isn't it the lead guitar in the second section borrows heavily from the uh, acoustic guitar you've got this little pattern which is this, exactly the same as the acoustic guitar so it's a normal A minor chord uh, you play open A and you see D U D on the page which is down up down on that second down you pull off your first finger so you're turning your A minor into an A minor added ninth so you've got the finger still off, you play down up, return to the A minor, putting the finger back on, and it's up, down, down, so it's open A, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. And then uh, you do your own special electric guitar version of this now, and it's 7G, little finger on 7G, finger one on 4D, 
and it's down up down up down up now just slide the little finger down to 4G lift the first finger off and play that pair of notes 4G and open D and it's up down down so 7G and 4D is one pair down up down up down up on that and then the other pair is 4G and open D and it's up down down so so far you've got is you leave a little gap before you play that, that second section which is equivalent of the D to the D6 chord in the, in the acoustic guitar. Same again. On the end of the second line there you, you, you go into your A minor chord again. So it's the same as you played earlier, but it just comes in a bit earlier, and then just to round that off, you've got a nice uh, open E, nice slow bend up on three E, to bring you in again. So the whole pattern. Uh, behind the vocal is that um, that's probably still there in the mix but you've also got uh, another little section and I've sort of tried to keep the spirit of McCartney's playing here. It's obviously Paul McCartney playing this. He's got a very distinctive kind of rough but ready style of playing lead and there's a nice bit he plays behind behind the vocal. Let's just try and find the bit on the track. This bit I've just done. So I played over that, and it's a, if I ever get out of here, think of giving it all away. Comes in on the word away, or the uh of away. Think of giving it all. Okay, you can probably afford to be a little bit more distorted. Let's just, uh, let's just change my sound. 5B, 5B, 7B, 4G. Little finger on 8B and then 5G played four times. Down, up, down, up. And then a quick slur, 7G to 9G. First finger on 5G, up to 7G and then bar across to get 5G and 5D. So think of giving it all away. All I need is a pie in a day play. Just bar across four strings, seventh fret, but play only D, G, and B. Down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, down. And the last bit, I said it's not the same as the records. It's so sort of stumbly and muffled that bit. I've come up with this bit, which I think is in the spirit of what McCartney plays. It's a slur up, 5G to 7D, finger 3, 5G, 7G, 5G, back to 7D. And then just bar across 7E, 7B and 7G, only play the G and the B. And then bar 3 strings, 5th fret, play the G and the B together with your plectrum, like you did in the previous one. Just bend the strings, and a nice 7D vibrato. Run that bit, then, shall we? Um. So 
that is the second section now, very different to the first. Um, and you can afford just that last bit, as I say, to have a bit more, a little bit more sustain, a little bit more distortion. Uh, for the, the first part of that second section, it needs to be uh, sort of what we call a crunch sound, a little bit of distortion, but not too much. And hopefully that helps you a bit.